Alright, good evening everyone. Welcome back to Pathologic. So, we tried to help our friend AVR um, with a refugee, and uh, he got mad and attacked us because we didn't speak his language, so we ended up just kind of beating him up. Which is unfortunate. Hey! Hey, cut that out. What are you guys doing? I don't think I should fight all three of these guys. Hey, cut that. Okay, I can't stop them. They're just running after this woman. Okay. Well, there's nothing I can do about that. That's very odd. So this is the termitary, which is all locked up, as we can see. Doesn't even look like there's doors. Oh, I went too far. Oops. Can we just cut through these? No, that looks like it's all gonna be fenced off in the back. Okay. What are you? Oh, well, I see you got rid of the body. Good work. When you look her in the eye, your mouth just kind of opens up. Okay, she won't say anything else to us, probably because we just refused to help her, you know, hide a dead body. Okay. There's nothing else really going on in her house that I can interact with, except for this very dark room. I don't have a light source, so that doesn't help me. Well, um, let's head on back to AVR. We should probably get some sleep before we, you know, pass out from exhaustion. Probably also eat something, too. I think I have food. Yeah, I have a bunch of food. Hazelnut. Wait, am I eating those? Or am I just throwing them? I'm just throwing them. Okay. How do I eat them? Oh, there we go. Dried meat. Okay, let's just try and... I'm just gonna... Oh. Oops. That made me more hungry. Okay, there we go. There we go. That's fixed me up a little bit. Okay. That was all my food, though. On the upside, I'm very... Im immune? Oh, that reduced my exhaustion. Oh, okay. Alright, so we can, we can keep looking around a little bit. Eating lemons made me significantly less exhausted. Let's go talk to the Sabrobs. While we're over here. I don't really have any other leads to go on. I need to find... I'm guessing either of the old Gimski children, if I can. Alright. Mr. Sabrov. hurts. Can it be conscience? Um... Why are you me a look as if Simon's death was my fault? Oh, okay. What about I've the other one? Okay, nope, he, he won't talk to us anymore. Okay, let's try his wife. Um, other than that, I'm not sure. I guess we'll just go back to Ava and tell her that we goofed. She sent us to help a man, and we accidentally uh, just beat him to death with our bare hands. Hi. It's true. The girl has proven that she's a saint, not a killer. Do you also think Simon Kane's death was unnatural? No, not at all. How could someone who had absorbed all our blood not die? A single man cannot handle that. There are limits to living being vitality, and there are limits to the world's patience. Um, what do you mean by limits to a living being's vitality? I think I've heard that somewhere before. Simon transformed our town into a single whole, a living being. He was the heart, and we were the blood running through the town's veins. We radiated his light, and that's why we used to shine so brightly. The bound are actually bound to Simon. Uh, what about the limits to the world's patience? What do you mean by that? I cannot elaborate upon this. I can only feel it, as if this was a heavenly wrath, the payback for all that he had done. The world couldn't stand it anymore. The world must have made someone its weapon, right? Who is to blame for the death? Even if someone did have something to do with it, is that person worth blaming? Most likely they didn't even realize they were killing someone. Yes, that's how it was. Now I see very clearly. Oh, yeah, you're clairvoyant. Alright, what about... It is... Why don't you take some... Okay, alright, so that's all of her dialogue options. Okay, interesting. So she thinks... Whoever killed Simon was not quite in control of his faculties. Well... Maybe. Now that we've accidentally beaten that dude to death, maybe I can go talk to what's his face, old Gimski, Vlad, and be like, hey, I found your your runaway fugitive and I killed him. Definitely intentionally. 
Maybe he'll be, at least he'll be more inclined to help me out. Although we didn't get off on the best of terms, so, uh... I don't know if there's anything interesting in the town hall. There's nothing in the town hall. It's just empty. I guess they did say they didn't really use it for anything. I can't search any of these cabinets. These just kind of exist as objects. I don't know. Maybe there will be some... I assume there's going to be something going on in here at some point. I still don't know what that is. It's important enough that this dude's got a painting of it in his house. Hi. What? Uh, getting everything back on track. How do you think Simon died? I don't think he was murdered. How could he who craved monocracy not perish? He couldn't, not in this place. Balance requires equilibrium. Simon's course of action contradiction yours. Come now. What I'm saying is when someone takes too much upon themselves, they always end up ground down. That's how life works. Yet they say Simon was the one to bend the circumstances, not the other way around. No one seems to doubt that. Simon has lived a very long life. Very long. He was a worthy man, but long doesn't mean eternal, does it? No one is to blame for his death. Examine the body, you'll see for yourself. It just happened. Okay, well, let me examine the body. That is temporary. A family tradition. He's not lying to you. He truly believes Simon was murdered. Were he to admit that Simon simply died of death, he'd probably go to his last home himself. The shock would be too much for the man. Uh, Georgie Kane didn't appear sentimental to me. Hmm. So my Harrowspex is the Ripper? Funny. That, uh, Isidore came by to see you last night. Don't try to deny him. So what if he did? I'm also aware of what you two have been talking about. All I want to know is why he left to see Simon afterwards. Oh my, oh my. Pray forgive me. So he wanted me to... He wanted to bring me to heal that traitor. That bastard. Well, what he asked for was for me to stop the factory. How could I not kick him out? Uh, what did he tell you? Who else could he have spoken to? Perhaps someone who could take measures of what kind? What were his reasons? His reasons, huh? The bastard. He reasoned he'd pay a visit to my daughter. He knows full well how to pull my strings. Well, I told her to lock the door, so away he went none the wiser. Oh, the bastard. So I went to Simon, huh? Thank goodness my loafer of a son is hanging around somewhere, or else hmm, he could have... Could have what? Huh? That, my dear and respectable friend, is none of your business. My property, like I said, is in order. See the skin and meat delivery reports. Do you know how hard? No way. It's my domain, whether anyone riots or not, and I'll have my way with them. I see, I see. You're the big guy here. All right. Can I talk to you about anything else? Hard. No, that's it. Okay. Well, that's very suspicious. Hmm. I'm, like, running out of people to talk to here. Hey. Do you know anything about... Eh... Can I trade with you? You don't own anything. What would I give you? I don't want to give you any of my stuff. Hang on. Uh, why the long face? War's been postponed. If it has come to this, we shall unite and hunt the turnskin. Uh, do you believe in turnskins? You graduated from a university, and this is your question? You think we're all total nitwits here, looking for a werewolf? Werewolves only exist in fairy tales, and a real turnskin would make your own skin crawl. Sounds intriguing. Tell me more. Do you know the Bower Megas, the Book of Step Legends? It explains what a turnskin is. A turnskin can live by your side for years, and then all of a sudden, bam, it turns. Don't be surprised, then, that your nearest and dearest are on their way to the cemetery. But why? Because that's the turnskin's nature. It was a man or a woman, then bam, there's a kagi standing before you. Death emanates from it. You get it now, you big city brainy? More or less. Uh, what else can I ask you? I can just ask you about districts in general. Hindquarters is a merry district. It's in Earth, above the factories on the banks of the Gull. That's where the ominous willows are, a house of ill repute, in a pub called Factus Est. The twins tend to spend their time at the latter, so staying there is dangerous for both your life and sanity. What's the willows? A malicious wench lives there, named Anna Angel. A proud potato, if I've ever seen one. She used to be a famous singer, now she's dealing in spells and hexes. We'd smash her windows with stones, if not for the respect we used to have for the previous owners. Who lived there before? A girl named Willow Mellow used to live there, and then she died. Okay, this is all stuff we've heard before.
Lack of proper education options is a grave social issue indeed. Okay, alright, see ya. Uh, interesting, so there's a bar. Andrew Stamaton's pub, that's probably worth checking out. Peter Stamaton's studio. Where else can we go? Bad Grief Slayer, I don't really care about that. Windows of this house are bricked in. Castle of the Soul and a Halves, warehouse. Oh, that we probably want to go check out for Lara while we're over here. How are we doing on exhaustion? We're doing all right. Howdy, you got anything else to tell me? Here we are, once again, no one's asking us. Can you repair this? Who are you? Have you seen anything suspicious? Keep going after the wrong people. What about you, Doc? Can you tell a man-eating Mara when you see her? She's absolutely cruel and everyone's going mad for her. Man-eating what? Looking for a Mara. Well, they say no one believes in her, but everyone's keeping an eye over their shoulder. You know how they paint Mara? There's a girl warming her hands up, with her hair loose, all lithe and nimble, and then she bends back, peeks at you, and bam, her face is all twigs. Believe in this kind of monster? No, come on. I'm an adult man. On the other hand, pigs fly and all, you know. If Simon can live for 200 years, why can't Amara suck his life out, using her twigs as sipping straws? You're a funny man, Pop. Alright, doesn't really help us a whole lot. So this should be where the... I can't climb the stairs. This should be where the children are. I don't seem to be able to get in there. Because I can't go up these stairs. Physically incapable. Is there a downstairs entrance? Oh, there it is. Okay, I can't talk with any of you. No? No? Oh, must be you. Hi. I smell smoke. Not kin. Are they burning trash again? What the hell are you doing here, Doc? How do you know I'm a doctor? Everyone does. I'm Chieftain Notkin. If you see a big gray cat around here, call him Artist. I will if he calls me Bachelor. Uh, okay, well that's all of the dialogue I have with that guy. That's a weird lantern. Can I go up these stairs? I can. I can't talk to any of you, though. I can't go over there. Alright. Okay, so that's... Interesting. Well, I think it's not really worth going to go talk to Reuben because he's probably not going to say anything until we do the examination of the body. But we can go up to Andre Stamaton's pub. Grace's Lodge. Ah, that's the uh, the Undertaker girl. Might also be worth checking out. I imagine an Undertaker would have some insight into, uh, you know, people dying. I'm not actually sure how smart it was to walk across the railway bridge, because I don't know that I can go down these slopes without breaking my legs. Alright, this must be Grace's lodging. Wow, that is a tall door. Uh, yep, this is Grace's lodge. There is no furniture in here. Interesting. Do we see anyone around who looks like they might be an undertaker? Not really. This is pretty empty. I imagine there's not a lot of people hanging out in the graveyard. Oh, I can't climb these rocks. Okay. Just take a quick peek around here, see if we can locate our, our girl. Maybe ask her some questions. Sorry, a grave dug over here. Nope, no sign of anyone around here. That's fine. All right, let's go head up to the uh, head up to the tavern. All right, so this is our tavern here. I'm guessing this is the door, maybe? Oh. There's a few people around here. Hi, can I interrupt your dinner? You don't want to talk to me? Come on, I'm a doctor. Okay, you just trade things. Sell coffee, sell twiring. 
Oh, that's the, the herbal thing that everyone's been talking about. Gold ring, bronze bracelet. This doesn't really... Ah, you look like I can talk. Fortune there we go. Fortune appears so blind to none as to those to whom she has done no good. That was an aphorism. I see the dust of my beloved capital on this man's feet. Ta-da, I bet you must have met me. Uh, the uni. Were you juggling knives on the table? Ah, remember the times when we got the better of those bastards, eh? And you, you sat there all quiet, but when the tables went down, you grabbed the shooter. Yeah, I remember. Very brave of you. Those were the days. And look at me now. Those were the days, indeed. Tankovsky, in case you've forgotten. And you are? Andrei Stamatin. Sentenced to death in four countries at your service. Rejoice and sing, those of you who are not looking for me to die. Were you sentenced to death for? You aren't going to believe it. For my creations. The Downgate, the Alley of Heroes Ensemble, the Other Stairway Round, the House House was specifically renounced by the World Association of Architects. Even though it's always been my little brother and me, I'm usually the one to take the beating. I didn't even know all those things were your works. It's an honor to meet you. Why do you all come here to gawk at me? Now it's not a good time to talk over important matter. Nothing important just doing the rounds. Okay, so he doesn't have anything to say. Just some... What the heck is that outfit? I think that's supposed to be clothes? Can I talk to you? No. Okay. Alright. Okay, so... He might, uh... He might have something for us later, though. It's now 8 p.m. Uh... Is there anything around the back of the pub? There's a second floor to this building. Ah, there is, but it's very, very blocked up. Okay. Well. Hmm. I don't quite know what time they're going to do the body examination. go check in with what's his face. We could also just go back to Ava and go to sleep. Well, while we're here, quick stop in with Yulia, see if she's got anything new to say, although I doubt it. And then I think we'll head back to Ava. Hello, Yulia. This girl is a changeling. She's not the murderer. Okay. Yeah, she doesn't have any new dialogue options. Alright. Well, our next best bet is... Ava and then Georgie to see if he'll let us examine the body now that it's later. That's the only thing I can think of. Wait, tell me about the cat again. Uh, what are you so happy about? I almost caught the unseen cat. Where'd you find such a cat? Famous pale cat, eyes like... Yeah, yeah, yeah. You see its bowels too. Light passes right through her. It's very pretty. Most importantly, she's invisible in the dark and rodents can't hear her. The what obtuse? Ah, oh, it's no use. I won't believe you anywhere. Just come over and see your cat. It's by the twelfth warehouse. Password is hell. Froze over. I still don't know where the twelfth warehouse is. Castle of the Soul and a Halves. Twelfth warehouse. I don't see anything that looks like a warehouse. Factory buildings. Sticky's house. Maybe? I don't know which of these are warehouses. I don't even think, looking at them, that I would know which one was supposed to be a warehouse, because the buildings all look very odd. Alright, well, hopefully we'll get a chance to do that at some point. Hi, small child. Do you have anything to add? What's up? Are you really playing hide-and-seek with a man-eater? Uh, yes. He's a good runner, has strong teeth, a good eater too, a gobbler even. Alright, I'll be careful. I'm pretty sure that's what she said to us last time, so... Actually, if we ask this guy... Tell us about the polyhedron? Youngest cane, Casper, is fortified, yeah, okay. Alright, we did that one. Good for them. Um, talk about the crude sprawl. The most rottenest place ever. So it breeds here as though it could swallow you whole. A real bog you possibly need in that place. How do I get there? It's simple. When they tell you to go to hell, just choose any direction. When you found the worst place in the world, that is it. 
Fair answer once again. Oh, something very alarming in your eyes. I apologize profusely. It's in Earth. Southernmost eastern district borders the abattoir. Southern is adjoined to the cemetery. Thanks. Hang on. Uh, tell me about the Tanner's district. Menacing place. Northwest Cape of Earth. Back side of town. That's where the Rod, the Sabarov's mansion is. We don't play there. Alexander is not to be trifled with. You never know when his strict gaze turns towards you. That's so bad about it. Well, who knows? No, don't ever mess with the Sabarovs. Then again, the wife, Katarina, is not only a witch, but also a mistress. I was too young to see any of the old mistresses. Katarina was the last one, although I've never seen her either. Why are you shaking? I'm not making you go there. Okay. So where are the warehouses? Skinner's district. It's just a district in Earth, northernmost of the western districts. It's further to the north than the Termitary. Actually, a good friend of mine, Sticky, lives there. Sticky the New Thatch. Do you know what New Thatch is? It's a very sly snake. Where does Sticky live? Well, in a house on the banks of the river, Gorkon. It's actually tricky to find. When you're there, just ask someone, they'll show you. Okay, that doesn't help me, because I need to know where the warehouses are if I want to see the elusive cat. Which I kind of do. Uh, what about you? Get around your town. Um, what about the bull project? It's the industrial base of the town. Station the warehouse, the works and the avatar all belong to it. I wouldn't recommend going there. It's not a perfect place for a person in the capital. It's filthy there, and the stench. Didn't think about going there anyways. Say, so how come such a tiny town is divided into districts? Just sort of came to be that way. The gullet and the guzzle, the Gorkon's tributaries, divide the town into three parts. Each of them consists of many separate courtyards, so maybe that's the reason. What are those parts? The lower part is called Earth. One between the gullet and the guzzle we call the knots, and the triangle promontory between the guzzle and the Gorkon is the stone yard. What about the district's name? Stringer consists of Bridge Square and Atrium, plus a mistress's tombs, of course. Earth has four residential districts, Skinner's, Tanner's, Hindquarters, and Crude Spalls. In the middle, uh, I'm not sure you need this, not set okay. Yeah, I don't think you need any of that information. So, that means these are the warehouses, then, down here, right? Because this is... I'm guessing these, the warehouses are like down here somewhere? Maybe? I don't know, it could also be the house that's all bricked in. That would make sense, this one down here. Either way. It's not gonna help us now, because it's not dark yet. Oh. Oh. I don't know, as I was walking right past the friggin' Kane's mansions, let's go hop in and see old Georgie. He's willing to let me examine that body yet. Now that it's been some time. It's I'm not sure if he if the body examination is happening tomorrow or later tonight. Unless the hands on that clock don't move. I don't think. No, because it is almost 9 p.m. Howdy. Most men only die. Okay, no, that's it. Well, I think, at this point, we've gathered all the information that we can reasonably get. I think we just need to wait for tomorrow. So, we'll go back, tell Ava that we accidentally killed the guy she wanted us to save, and then, uh, and go to sleep. Hi, Ava. My lacquer is cracking, see? I'm gonna sing outside the window is annoying at me. I don't hear anything. Okay, that's all she's gonna say. Well, that's unfortunate. Let's go, uh, go get some rest. We placed our trust in them. And yet they came unprepared. Shabnak, the hair eater, the bone spirit, Crawled by them, touched them, and turned their blood into poisonous tar. Having devoured their body, she found her way into the steppe's depth and inner waters. And plague has devoured this land. Uh... 
Did I just lose? I guess I just lost. Okay. Okay. Where the heck am I? Today's quest. This is where Burke murdered. Talk to everyone. I need to work out where I can find the younger old Gimski. That's what I need to do. Where am I right now? Okay, I'm over here. Who have I not talked to? She doesn't want to talk to me, and Sabarov doesn't want to talk to me. Can I get into Isadora's house yet, maybe? Okay. Hmm. Hmm. These two guards are still standing out here, and they're probably not going to let me in. What do you say? Kind of leave places villainous times are rough. Something I say. Do my job, you're doing yours. Sorry, what about you? Okay, alright, they won't let me in. I just walk past you? Yeah, it's locked, okay. Alright, well. If I had to guess where the younger old Gimski was gonna be. Apparently, this is also home to Capella. Maybe she's in there. If I was going to guess where Vlad the Younger is, I'd say he's somewhere in the factory area. Right, because that's their their thing, yeah? It's a shame that I can't just, like, walk up to random people and be like, Hey, do you know where Vlad the Younger is? Hi. I can't even talk to you. Where are you going? You gonna go beat up this woman? He's trying to. He's definitely... Yep, he's trying to. Okay, well, I can't help her. Nothing I can do about that. Why is this still marked? See, I don't know what these markings on the map mean. Like, does red mean there's still something for me to do there? I have absolutely no idea. Alright, I'm gonna call it there for now. I'm really not sure where to go from here. Anyways, thank you all so much for watching. I'll see you all in the next episode. Goodbye.